Let's be clear, though. Islam is not our adversary. Muslims are peaceful and tolerant people and have nothing whatsoever to do with terrorism. This is a group of Democrats that won't stand with Israel, that won't stand up to Iran, that won't stand up to ISIS, but will come after American citizens trying to strip away our Bill of Rights. Last night was I an audition it. for who would wear the government jackboot. And that's why the American people are ready to change the path we're on. And General Joseph Dumford recently testified that approximately 500 U.S. service members were killed in Iraq by Iranian activities, which accounts for at least 14 percent of the combat deaths in Iraq. That blood is on Iran's hands. Even on this very day, as we speak, Iran holds four American citizens captive, and two more Americans were arrested just last month. Although the United States is not at war with Iran, there's no question that Iran has been and still is at war with the United States. For seven years, Barack Obama has been unwilling even to utter the words radical Islamic terrorism, much less to serve as a commander in chief and defeat radical Islamic terrorism. I We should pass the Expatriate Terrorist Act. This is legislation that I've introduced that says that any American who travels abroad, who joins ISIS, who takes up arms and wages jihad against America has, by doing so, immediately forfeited his or her American citizenship. We should not have ISIS terrorists coming to America using U.S. passports to wage jihad against innocent Americans. I'm introducing legislation in the Senate today to bar refugees, Syrian Muslim refugees, and refugees from countries where ISIS or Al-Qaeda control a substantial amount of territory, to bar them from coming into this country because the Obama administration cannot credibly vet who is and isn't a terrorist, and we should not be bringing in Syrian Muslim refugees who pose an unacceptably high risk of waging jihad and trying to murder innocent Americans. I believe we need to have a commander-in-chief that lays out clearly, we will defeat radical Islamic terrorism. It starts by naming the enemy.